Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wonky, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. How's it going, everyone? It's not Yu-Gi-Oh! today, unless there's a video where two videos are going up at the same time. Which, I guess, case, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh! and Fugo day, so... <laughs> I'm still busy with work, so I've been too busy to make videos on anything else. But anyway, I decided to take some time off, um, working during, basically, using my break to talk about the new thing that got added onto the JP side of Fugo which is the advanced quest, which I think is actually pretty interesting of what they're doing and what they kind of have planned for the, I guess, the future of Fago. It's very interesting to think about. Who knows how often these are going to be just because of the way Fago has been known to... Yeah, I'll get into it, but that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like and comment down below. Tell me how you specifically feel about this, if you have any thoughts about it. And if you don't have any thoughts about it, don't worry about it, bro. You can just talk. Anyway, um, so yeah, advanced quests. So advanced quests are this thing where um, they're now a new form of quest where you can kind of test skills against, um, it's a fight where you can only use your servants. They appear permanently in the Caldea Gate. So this right here, you can see right there, they're, there, they're always there. You can attempt advanced uh, quests anytime if you fulfill the requirements to unlock them. And rewards for clearing advanced quests are specific craft essences. Uh, so the only one available right now is this one, and all you need to do is to clear it is to clear London. And it's here from the 26th to old never to the end of the game. Um, and this is the CE you get, and this is the crazy effect it has, which is drop rate plus 5% for <laughs> uh, Void Refuse. That is... And then if it's max unlimit broken, it is 25% multiplied by the original drop rate. So I think the way I saw it is that it turns a 75% into a 5%. No, 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 I'm stupid. It takes a 75% and then you add in the 5%, so it becomes an 80% chance of it dropping. So that would make uh, the void refuse where if it was a 25%, if I'm understanding for right, if I'm not understanding it right, please feel free to correct me because I want to know if this is right or not. Uh, one moment because my boss just texted me and I'm afraid. He sent me a text that just said the letter K. So everything's okay. <laughs> anyway, the way I understand it, and feel free to correct me, is that if it is 75% and you're adding 5% because it is multiplied by the original drop rate, the 75% becomes a 80%. And so if you're adding 25% over 75%, that would make it 100% if it's max on limit broken. Now, I did not know the max on limit broken rate. So thankfully there are certain, um, I think the highest I saw was, Char I think someone said like Charlotte has a 73% chance to drop a Void Refuse. So if you add this CE over it, then that basically makes it a 99, is it a 98%? Yeah, 98% chance dropping a, a Void Refuse. And it's just one, it's not like you get multiple from what I understand, but that's pretty nice. Fago is a game... As I've said before, where the materials are very hard to get, um, like for example, let's just look at Void Refuse itself, we can actually see all the units that need Void Refuse in some way or another, like Mash needs 15, Dantes needs 30, Jolter needs 10, 40, 8, 32, 32, 10, 30, 40, 30, 10, 40, 40, 40, 30, 10, 40, 32, 120. <laughs> 105, 73, 105, and we're only on the sabers. 105, 120, 73, 144, 84, 72, 140, 144, 112. What is the highest number? I think it might actually be 144. Uh, let me see here. But yeah, as you can see here, you need a lot of void refuse if you're doing max skills on some of these dudes. 144, and this is for a caster, so you know that's extremely important to have. Uh, oh wow, two caster supports need a lot of them, actually. Yeah, so... And then it's also used for costumes and stuff like that. So yeah, 100... 168 for... <laughs> Vlad, are you okay, my bro? Why do you need so much dust? That's an insane amount of dust. But anyway, you're seeing my point here is that it seems like... So actually recently, it hasn't happened in NA yet, but it did happen in JP, but they actually did a... 
um, game-wide increasement to material drops. It hasn't come over to NA yet, so if you're someone who's wondering, well, this seems like a waste, why not just increase the drop rates? And the answer is, they already increased the drop rates. So the drop rates got better on JP, and now they think, basically they're saying, hey, if you just really badly want this one material, here's a CE to help with that. And all you need to do is beat London, and you'll be able to unlock this quest, and then you beat the quest, and then you have, in theory, this CE that is extremely good. I would say it's extremely good for what it is, but... Uh, let's continue on. So half AP, this is another thing they're doing here, half AP cost for free quests that drop Void Refuse. So if you just want to grind some Void Refuse, then congratulations, up until the February 2nd, it is an insanely easy way to kind of just grind for this material. So, and also they brought back Merry Christmas in the Other World for free access. So if you spent any thing, a Rare Prism thing on it, then congratulations, you're going to get it back. So let's talk about specifically why I want to kind of bring it up, because I actually think that there is multiple ways you can see this, both good and bad. Um, up until I saw the 25% thing, the, the first thing that was bad in my mind was I actually didn't like the idea of the support kind of turning into something where it's like... it's a, in, in JP, it's a little bit different. On NA, it's a, it's a we haven't received the update yet where they'll allow us to have basically three characters in each slot. So basically we'll have much more support units and then we can have multiple CEs. The current problem is that a lot of times someone's looking for a specific CE and it can be a little bit tough to find a CE in the mountain of dudes that have that CE. And it's very hard when you want a specific unit to have a very specific CE. So now when you're grinding, the idea of now potentially the character, you could find the character you want, but they'll have like a CE specifically for drop rates is a little bit like, uh, I don't know if I want this. But it doesn't seem like you would really want to add it. I think for Dust you wouldn't want it. Probably for some of the gold items that are very hard to like farm out. I really wish this video would stop popping up here, man. I don't want to know about Honest Trailers. Look at Warrior Wear Smooth Moves. Uh, what, what was I saying? Yeah, I think it could end up destroying supports but it looks like if it's for the common ones it shouldn't be too bad if it's 25 percent that should be enough for you to just be able to run it and you don't really need it on support unless you're someone who's brand new to the game and you're not able to get to london and if you're not able to get to london what are you doing in the early parts of the game just kind of grinding out for dust when they added a shop in that's very easy for you to just get that material mm. so yeah i really want them to do it's weird for that. I understand why they did it for probably an older one, but I think this would be way more useful for something like one of the newer materials that you need a lot of, like egg, for example. Having a CE for egg might be a little bit more helpful than void dust for some. But like I pointed out, there are still plenty of units that use a lot of dust, so maybe I'm just a... Uh, hmm. Maybe there's uh, multiple ways to actually see it, but anyway. Um... The other thing is that I don't know how often they're going to do this, and I don't... I like the idea of, like, hey, these free quests are out now. The thing I don't like is the idea of, like, we also aren't going to be doing anything from January 26th to February 2nd. I really hope that... It's basically a dead week. <laughs> it's a dead week with no chance of getting any sync warts, and also they've brought back two of the most popular characters out there. Like, Erish and Ishtar, both of them Rin faces, two halves of Rin coming out here, following up after Dantes finally being returned back, uh, the wrong Arjuna coming back, Lady Reigns came back, like, that's a lot of things to deal with, and I feel like it needs a little bit more. Like, the way that they're seeing it is kind of like, hey, we brought back Merry Christmas in the Underworld, but it's like, if you already have the stuff for Merry Christmas in the Underworld, then really all you're doing is nothing. You get nothing from this. <laughs> You don't get any net positives from it. But maybe that will change when they start doing this with more... Uh, maybe they start doing a little bit more main interludes. Because here's the other thing is that... The reason I'm kind of like, I don't know how this is going to affect things. Because the last time they introduced something where it was like new and I was like, like, hey, this might be a good way to bring things back. It was main interludes. And we get like, what? Two main interludes a year? I think... And that's about it. Let's look at last year how many new main interludes we got. Let's see. In December we got none. 
in November, we got none. In October, we actually got one, which was one in three because it was Halloween Trilogy. So I'm going to count that as three. To be fair, I'm going to count it as three. But that also means that Halloween is done for. Three. In September, none. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. In August, nothing. 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 In July, nothing. Here, I guess, does Nero Fest count as a... No, it doesn't count as one, does it? Because it's technically a new event, right? Hmm. Yeah, it's a rerun, so no, it does not count. Ah, uh, no, this is another one where it doesn't count. Didn't get... Oh man, I forgot there's a Quetz banner coming up. That's something for future where we'll get to worry about. Yeah, see, not a lot. It was basically just Halloween, and it was three and one. And that was the one for the year. So... <laughs> Yeah, not not a great track record, though this one was at least three. And this was technically like, yeah, yeah. So you got some quartz from this. This is fine. You get some quartz, you get some stuff. Nothing bad here. I just want them to start doing some more main interludes. Because if they start doing stuff where it's just like, hey, just grind this a bunch, here's a free this. I don't think that's enough to kind of warrant a lack of content and stuff. There needs to be, I think, a little bit more. The only way I could actually see me being okay with it is that there was some kind of, like, special login bonus going in. Then I'm kind of like, okay, cool. Then everything's fine. It's either that or make the login bonus a little bit better in general, which they can start doing that in Anniversary. And to be honest, sometimes some of the things where I'm like, hey, the game has changed, now this is kind of useless, they kind of go, that's the time where they go to Anniversary and they kind of go like, Hey, we're changing how this works. This now gives you more St. Quartz, and here you go. More St. Quartz for you. We've been holding on to them. We remembered. And it's kind of like, oh, yay. Then everything's fine. <laughs> it's just the lead-up to Anniversary that's kind of a pain in the butt as you wait for the, oh, yeah, this is awesome. But, yeah, that's kind of what all I wanted to talk about it. I think it's a cool idea, though, what they got doing. I'm interested to see how they implement it in the future. I think the sports stuff I'm kind of cool on if I'm if I'm sure that the way it works is the way it works as I said this 25% is fine I don't think it will clog up the friend support at all I need to stop clicking on things for this site it always leads to like 27 different ads for shoes but anyway that's the end of the video everyone I'm going to go back to work you guys have a good day have a good night and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out